Now, welcome to my channel. I'm GB Bello again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut uh, a knicker and a shirt for a four year old boy. So, if you have a boy at home, you must pay attention to all the things that I'm going to do. So, in this first one, I'm going to show you how to cut the knicker. I hope you have downloaded the shirt making course, but that is where you get all the details about this cutting. So, let's go to the cutting. Let's go to the length of the knicker is 15 inches. The tight circumference, the upper tight circumference is 16 inches. The lower tight circumference is 14 inches. So watch how I'm going to measure and cut it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to measure 2 inches. It's going to be an elastic band short. So I'm going to measure 2 inches. This 2 inches is for the elastic band. So that's the first thing to do. The same thing we do in adult trousers too. Alright, then the next thing to do is to measure the length of the knicker, which is 15 inches. Then I'm going to measure another 2 inches, which I'm going to use to fold the hem in half. I'm going to rule those places too. Yes, for the hemming allowance. 2 inches for the hemming allowance. Then the next thing is to measure the cow depth. The cow depth that I'm using for him is 7.5. So I'm measuring 7.5 down. I'm going to rule it to everything is ruling. Yes, it's construction we are doing. Then the next thing is to measure the tie circumference. The tie circumference is 16 divided by 2 is 8 inches. So this is 8 inches. I will measure to 1.5 backward. For adults, it is 2 inches. So for a boy, I'm going to use 1.5 backward. So this is 1.5. The circumference circum is 8 inches, which ends here. Then I measure 1.5 inch backward. This is 1.5. So that's where I'm going to rule my line. Then I'm going to construct the curve there. Very good. Now the lower tie circumference, because it's going to be a maker, is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. So I'm going to connect. You can see that Nika is very easy, something that you can do by yourself. And then here I'll measure 8 inches or 8.5. I just needed 1 inch to bring it out. Alright, so this is the front pattern of the Nika, which I'm just going to cut. Then we will go and use this front pattern to cut the back pattern of the Nika. This is the front pattern of the knicker and I'm going to use it to cut the back pattern of the knicker. So what I will do now, I'm going to uh, uh, position it on another pattern. So I'm going to, on the crouch, I'm going to measure 1.5, 2 inches. No, let me use 1.5 since it's a 4 year old boy. So I'm measuring 1.5 at the front of the crouch. Then in front of the lower tie, you know it's a knicker, I'm going to measure one and a quarter. One and a quarter. So I'm ruling the two. I'll rule this one. I'll rule this one. Okay, so I'm going to use the front now to cut the pattern. So I'm going to mark it. It's better you mark it out before you cut. Then, the same thing with this place. If you have not downloaded your shirt making course, use the link in the description. In the description, there you'll be able to download the course and get all the details that you need to sew your own shirt by yourself. All right. So now this is the back that we just drew so i'm just going to use my scissors to cut it out now you can see that it's very simple just use the front pattern to cut the back pattern and you just define with your knicker 